It's been about two weeks since uh, Hurricane Fiona. I mean, post-tropical storm Fiona to be exact. Um, I was planning to make a bunch of videos and upload them, but uh, we lost our power for like eight days. Um, there's still people, like 1,500 people in our county that don't have power as of today. Um, and we lost our internet for like 11 days, so uploading videos wasn't going to happen. So instead, I think what I'll do is we'll just uh, show some footage of uh, the past week. Um, all the damage that we come, came across and uh, kind of our experience It uh, was a little... I work for a telecommunications company and we are slammed with wires down. Anyway, so here's the uh, footage that we did take. So it's uh, 7 a.m. and I just got up to see if we could see any kind of damage that's been done. We got some shingles laying out there in the grass. The shelter's still standing, so that's awesome. Looks like way back at the shop there might be a tree down over there got a few broken trees in the backyard there's a bunch of them actually and a heck of a lot less leaves than they had on <laughs> than last night oh and our gazebo looks like it's lost a bunch of the panels so hopefully it's not damaged too much we can find them wherever they are in the yard Oh, some more shingles here. Oh, there's one of the panels. And we lost power last night at about midnight. So, that's gonna suck, because we couldn't get a generator. This little tree has taken a beating. So we're doing our drive along for uh, post-hurricane. Hurricane Fiona. First obstacle tree in the driveway. Along with many other trees that have been knocked down. Oh, look at those ones over there. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm like, ooh. There's just a pile of dirt here. Oh, that was that was a tree. That's the root ball. Oh. Holy shit. That was a couple trees. Three trees. <laughs> just took the whole like section of them out. Yeah. Look at all the broken trees. Oh yeah. We're gonna have lots of firewood. Dad, you're gonna have your work <laughs> cut out for you clearing the trail again. Jesus. Oh my God, yeah, imagine the trail. Yeah, all back there too, they're all busted. This is really sad though, too. Yeah. Yeah, look at them all broken here. Holy shit. Yeah, some busted trees at the shop. Oh, there's a tarp way back there. Oh, the tarp. <laughs> One of them. Oh, yeah, we're over here too. Oh, look at all the busted trees back here. Holy. Okay, yeah, we better be thanking our lucky stars that this didn't kill the workshop. And I can't believe this tree that's totally dead didn't fall. Yeah. So we're at uh, the neighbor's house here and he's got a down power line. I mean, Just probably why we have no power. Shit. Okay. Yeah. One past one. Oh, look at all the trees over there. Okay, somebody get out and take a picture Don't down the road. Alright, it looks like we've driven as far as we can. This way, at least we can go down Dylan, the just, other way. Just go hold up that uh, branch right over there. Yeah, we'll right drive there, under. and then we'll drive under. <laughs> just kidding. Oh yeah, that pulls toast. Oh my god. Yeah, you seem to make it pretty you well. You know, given. Okay, that's sketchy.
It's uh, about 5.30 on Saturday now. The wind's pretty much died down. I think most of the storm's passed. So our biggest issue was that our uh, we lost some shingles up on the roof there. So I'm gonna have to go and get those fixed tomorrow or do some kind of temporary fix. Oh, this is the trench I was built, digging, which has now become our moat. I'm gonna see how full it is over by the horse shelter. As the ground slopes down. Oh yeah, it's getting fuller. And yeah, it's pretty much right full at the at the shelter. So we'll take a walk down the path here that we normally take to go ride the horses. See how that's looking. See, obviously there's already trees here. So this is where we hitch the horses up, tack them up, and then, yeah, normally we'd go down here. So I'm gonna put some safety glasses on here so I don't get whipped in the eye. Take a look through here. So these ones aren't too bad. I should be able to get rid of these. My little chainsaw. Whack of them knocked over there. Another big one uprooted here. It's like a big hole down there. That was a big tree. And, oh, I got another big tree here. This one's not gonna be fun to get rid of. Ugh. That one looks like it busted off right at the, right at the ground. But, yeah, from, that's, I don't know, about a foot across for that tree. And then it looks like this is mostly just debris on the ground here through this section. And these should be fun to get rid of. They're, like, really high up. I don't know, I might have to, like, use the tractor to push them over or something. Pretty big ones here too. Uh, this one's gonna be fun to get rid of, get rid, get through. Ugh. Okay, and this looks pretty clear over here. So, oh, we can't get down this one. It's a big pine down going there. Oh my god, there's so many down here. Lots of pine trees down here. Oh my god, look at them all. You couldn't even see through here like yesterday. There were so many trees and now they're all knocked over. Yeah, we're not getting through this anytime soon. Oh, this sucks. Well, it sure changed the landscape. It's like water pouring out of the ground here. So, this is normally this is normally pretty wet over here, but now we have, oh, I don't know, six inches of water in there. And it looks like it's draining over here. But I don't know if I can, yeah, I don't think I'm gonna go through there because it looks like deep water. Yeah, it's just kind of the extent of the damage that that hurricane did. It's pretty crazy. I've never experienced anything like that before.